If you're thinking about moving to Durham, North Carolina, I'm going to show you some of the best locations and neighborhoods to live in. You'll be surprised at what you can get for your money and all the amenities that come with it. I'm Allison Warnerowski, local broker and owner of Bray Realty, and welcome to another weekly episode of our Living In series. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss our weekly videos, and join our Relocating to Raleigh Facebook group to collaborate on the area with thousands just like you. The Raleigh-Durham area has so much variety when it comes to places to live, and the various cities and suburbs each offer a little bit of a different feel. Durham has a ton of great family-friendly neighborhoods with a variety of both new construction and mature communities. Let's find out more about them. First up, we'll focus on the neighborhoods closer to downtown. The first neighborhood on the list is Duke Park, located just north of downtown, basically within walking distance. It's bordered to the north of Interstate 85 and is split by Business 501. People love this neighborhood due to its culture and charm, and it's a perfect place for those who still want to be close to downtown but don't want condo-style living. Beyond its proximity to downtown, residents love the Duke Park itself that's situated within the neighborhood. It has a playground for the kids, plenty of open space to run around, and even a dog park. And while the neighborhood is close to some major roadways, there's still quiet roads for the kids to play in away from the traffic. The neighborhood has also done a great job for keeping many of the trees, despite being close to downtown. There are tons of mature trees to provide shade during the summer and privacy from neighbors. Commute-wise, Duke Park is around 15-minute drive to RTP, and it's about 30 minutes to downtown Raleigh. It's right on I-85, so you're convenient to major interstates, and you're minutes away from the most popular museum in the town, the Durham Life and Science Museum. Duke Park has smaller two-bedroom homes available in the 1,000 to 1,500 square foot range for roughly 400 to 500,000. There's also plenty of larger three to four bedroom homes ranging from 2,000 to nearly 4,000 square feet that range from 500,000 to a little bit over a million. Expect many of these homes to need updating, with the remodeled homes likely on the higher end of those prices per square foot. Lot sizes are generally in the third of an acre range, but there are some larger lots at half an acre or more. The schools there are Glen Elementary, Brogdon Middle, and Riverside High. Another great neighborhood that's just northwest of downtown is Crowsdale. It's located immediately north of I-85 between Hillendale, Cole Mill, and Rose of Sharon Roads. While it's not walkable to downtown, it's just a very short drive away. This high-end golf course community has been slowly built over time. It was started in the 70s, and there are even phases of the neighborhood that are under construction today. So there's a wide variety of home styles available. The neighborhood has excellent amenities with the golf course and the club. It has tennis courts and pools. But it's also built with several ponds and lakes with multiple walking trails and even some paved walking trails. For retirees, there's even a retirement community located within the neighborhood. The commute to RTP is about 20 minutes, and it's just over 30 minutes to get to downtown Raleigh. You're pretty close to the Eno River State Park as well. The homes around the golf course were built first, and most of them are older style homes with more traditional floor plans. But if you're okay with a house that's not fully updated, then you can get a house on the golf course for less than a million dollars. Most homes are in the $600,000 to $900,000 range with square footages between 2,500 to 4,000 square feet. However, there are some more estate style homes that are over a million and well over 4,000 square feet. The average prices per square feet are between $200 to $300, which is excellent for an upscale golf community like this. And lot sizes are generally between half an acre to an acre in size. The new area is in Crowsdale Farms, north of Carver Street, and the homes are more in the $300 to $400 per square foot range. Many of the newer homes are between one to two million and are around 4,000 to 6,000 square feet in size, while there are some sections with homes more in the 2,500 to 3,000 square foot range that are less money. Some of these homes are right next to Crystal Lake, which has walking trails around it. The schools are Hillendale Elementary, Brogdon Middle, and Riverside High, and both Hillendale and Riverside are right next to the neighborhood. Let's move to our next neighborhoods, which are both in prime locations in the Triangle and some of the best for those who work in RTP. Hope Valley Farms is generally located southwest of Durham, and it's just a few minutes north of I-40 and the South Point Mall. It's bordered by Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Fayetteville Road, and it spans on either side of Roxborough Road. The location of this neighborhood is amazing. You can get anywhere in Durham and even the Triangle in minutes, and you're less than 15 minutes away from RTP. People love this neighborhood, as it has a lot of amenities built right within it. Chamberlain Park is a cute little park nestled inside the neighborhood, and it has its own YMCA that has a pool and tennis courts. The Hope Valley Country Club is just a few minutes away and has its own luxurious clubhouse with a golf course. It's also close by to the popular kids park, Piney Wood, and you can easily hop on the American Tobacco Trail Greenway. This is a very large neighborhood, and home prices and styles will vary widely, which range from the 300,000s to close to a million. 
Square footages on these homes will range from the mid 1000s to closer to 4000 square feet. The average price per square foot is in the $200 to $250 range, but there are some that get over $300. Many of these homes were built in the 90s and early 2000s, while there are some sections that were built within the last 10 years and they're more updated. Expect these homes to be on the higher end of the price per square foot range. Lot sizes are closer to a fourth of an acre or less, but there's some variety of lots that have trees as well as some of the newer areas that are less mature. The schools here are Southwest and Pearson Town Elementary Schools, where Southwest Elementary is walkable or bikeable. Rogers Hare and Sherwood Giffins Middle Schools and Charles E. Jordan Senior or Hillside High School. The next neighborhood that shares very similar benefits to Hope Valley Farms as it's located just south of it is Woodcroft. Located generally southwest of Durham, closer to the edge of Durham, Woodcroft is also in a prime location. It's just north of South Point Mall, Highway 54, and Interstate 40, and it's immediately west of Fayetteville Road. Woodcroft is located even a few minutes closer to RTP than Hope Valley Farms, as it's merely 10 minutes away and it's a perfect place for those who work at RTP. It's also just a 25 minute drive into downtown Raleigh and minutes away from South Point Mall. You have just about everything you need within a few minute drive. Woodcroft is a mature neighborhood with dense trees and older homes built in the 80s and the 90s. It has its own walking trails through the woods and the American Tobacco Trail is easy to access. It also has a swim club with really cool water slide and a tennis center as well. Homes in this neighborhood are priced in the $300,000 to $500,000 range in general and range from around 1,200 to 2,000 square feet. The average price per square foot is 200 to 275 and expect many of these homes to have more traditional style layouts. Lot sizes are pretty generous as most of them are between a fourth of an acre to a half an acre. Schools are the same as Hope Valley Farms, so there are some good nearby options. The last neighborhood is further out than the rest, but it's possibly my favorite, Treyburn. Treyburn is one of my favorite communities because there's so much to do and it's so beautiful. The community that surrounds the prestigious Treyburn Country Club with a Tom Fazio designed golf course that was named by Golf Digest as the best course in the triangle. It has a massive clubhouse with a fitness center, pools, and amazing tennis facilities. Treyburn does an excellent job of creating a community as there's plenty of activities for kids and adults alike. There's cookouts, book clubs, yoga classes, various kids activities, movie nights, garden clubs, and so much more. You'll get to know your neighbors well and your kids will have plenty to keep them occupied. Outdoor enthusiasts will love being surrounded by the Little River Reservoir and over 1,600 acres of preserved woodlands. You can canoe and kayak and fish in the reservoir and explore the numerous trails around the nature preservation. It's truly amazing to have so much within your own community. Treyburn is a little bit further away than the other neighborhoods as it's located well north of downtown by about 20 minutes. It's just east of Highway 501 off Orange Factory Road. Plan on about a 30 minute commute if you work at RTP and a 45 minute drive to downtown Raleigh. However, you do have the benefit of going the opposite direction of traffic. To the closest grocery store and restaurant, it'll take you about 10 minutes. It was built in the late 90s and you can get quite the bang for your buck in Treyburn. The average price per square foot is around $175 to $250. Many of the homes are in the $600,000 to well over a million range, with square footages that range 2,500 to over 4,000 square feet. Lot sizes are half an acre or more in some areas as well, but many of these homes will require some updates. There are some smaller homes in the $400 to $500,000 range with square footage around 2,000 to 2,500, but lot sizes are close to a fourth of an acre. There are some larger, more estate-style homes as you get closer to the clubhouse and the reservoir that are between 1 million to 1.5 million and are usually 5,000 or more square feet. These lot sizes tend to be over one acre. The schools here are Little River Elementary and Northern High School. Little River is newly built and very close to the neighborhood and makes it very convenient. These are just some of the amazing neighborhoods in the Durham area. So if you'd like any assistance deciding what's the best match for you, our team here at Very Realty would love to help. Our contact information is in the description below and we'll be in touch with you right away. You can also check out some of our other videos or visit my website linked in the description below for more information on the area. I'm Allison Warnerowski with Very Realty and thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next video.